Why Bouncing Back from Setbacks Builds Resilience Today we'll be exploring the concept of resilience and its close connection to bouncing back from setbacks. Resilience is the ability to adapt, recover, and thrive in the face of challenges and adversity. We'll delve into the reasons why bouncing back from setbacks is crucial for building resilience and how it empowers us to face life's difficulties with strength and determination. Now keep in mind that setbacks are all part of the process, and one thing that you need to remember is that they're not to be confused with failure. Failure is the final destination if you so choose to do so. And setbacks are just a bump in the road. Resilience is not about avoiding those setbacks. It's about how we respond and recover from them. It is the inner strength that enables us to weather storms, learn from experiences, and come out stronger on the other side. It's also important to remember that setbacks build confidence. When we overcome obstacles, we gain a sense of achievement and self-assurance, knowing that we have the ability to handle challenges effectively. You can turn your I can't into I can, and that is the first step towards a positive direction in being confident. The other is having the experience at something you're doing towards your ultimate goal. The more you complete something, the more confidence you have in being consistent. And when that goal is finally completed, you will become more confident than ever before. So the secret to building confidence is being consistent and disciplined in doing the things that bring you towards the goal. Next, we will learn from experience. Setbacks are excellent learning opportunities. We take a look at how it happened, why it happened, and what we can do in order to prevent it from happening again in the future. It's like breaking down a game that you lost. Professional athletes will often review films for plenty of reasons. One of those films are from games where they perform poorly or if the whole team lost. They review the mistakes that they've made, go over what they could have done differently, and then make a note to prevent said setbacks in the future. Now, are all setbacks avoidable? Not all of them are. And the reason for that is that some of them will occur beyond your own control meaning you won't be able to prevent them, try as you may. Would you prevent a thunderstorm from passing through your neighborhood when you're planning an outdoor barbecue? You can't control the weather, but you can be prepared for when a setback changes the course of a goal. There are setbacks that can be avoidable as they're caused by human error, so to speak. And finally, we'll talk about adaptability. We actually mentioned this just now. If a setback occurs, you need to adapt and make changes if and when necessary. The further in advance you plan, the better you're prepared for any setbacks that may happen out of nowhere and again beyond your control. It's up to you to make the determination to prepare for those setbacks or face the consequences. This will do it for our presentation. Before we go, we want to remind you again that setbacks are all part of the process for success. If anyone tells you they've succeeded without suffering a setback, they're obviously lying to you. Everyone who has achieved success has suffered setbacks great and small. With that said, we thank you for checking out this presentation and we'll see you next time. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.